This is Seafood Tim Berkmeyer from Traditional Wing Chun Baltimore. I'm going to show everybody why the way I do it and the way that I teach it is that we always shoot a rear punch first. Shoot a rear punch, Matt? We always shoot a rear punch first before we step on the lead punch. There's two reasons why. If Matt steps on his rear arm, or you just stand still, if he stands, if he uh, steps on the rear punch and he gets his balance taken, there's no structure underneath of that elbow. So if you get your balance took, you really can't get it back as easily. But if you step on the lead punch and your balance is taken, then you have your knee underneath of the elbow and you should be able to regain your structure. Um, also, same thing as um, like throwing tear gas in a room before you advance. You always want to make sure your opponent is in a defensive posture before you advance. So that's why you always shoot the rear punch first towards your opponent's eyes. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so when you shoot it towards my eyes, you stimulate the reaction, and then you step in with the lead punch because you can reach him with the lead punch. Think of it this way. Um, Matt's the lead punch. Laura's the rear punch. So does it make more sense for Matt to distract me? Distract me, Matt, so I look at you. Hey, I'm looking at Matt. And then Laura tries to cover the, the rear distance and try to get me. It doesn't make it sense because she's got to cover more of a distance. So it makes more sense for Laura to you know, distract me over there. Just All right, she's distracting me there. And then the person who's closer who can also reach me at the same time, then they actually can strike me. It makes more sense. So stimulate the reaction with the rear. So she stimulates the reaction, and then the, the closer punch actually hits instead of, um, you know, you trying to move in on the first one. Plus, every action is a reaction. So if Matt steps with his, uh, um, if he tries to step with the lead punch first, just step in lead punch, I'm going to move. I'm going to react to his reaction, and then I'm further from both of the weapons. But... If he shoots the rear punch first, he can actually see where I'm going to move, and depending on where I move, then he should be able to reach me a lot easier. Um, hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. If you got any questions, leave some comments. I'll try to answer them best I can. Thanks.